The field is the world, January 16. Time is short, and all who believe this message should feel the solemn obligation resting upon them uh, to share this good news of salvation with anyone they come in contact with. The Bible in Matthew 28 verse 19 uh, says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Uh, Christ would have given all of us this command. He would have given it to you and he would have given it to me. And the instructions are clear. Just go and teach all nations. In other words, teach all those that you come in contact with that there is a God who wants to save them. Uh, let us teach uh, the people of God and even the people of the world that this same Jesus is coming back uh, to receive them as his own. Let us teach the people of God and the people of the world uh, that unless uh, they repent, uh, then heaven will not be theirs. Let us teach the people of the world and teach the people of the church that if there was any a time to serve Christ, the time is now. You might be asking yourself or wondering to yourself, uh, how can you go about and teach? Uh, understand that teaching does not only involve the spoken word, but we teach others by our lifestyles. We teach others by the way we respond to them. We teach others by our attitude on our job or attitude in our homes or attitude around our neighbors. But the point is clear. Let us go and teach God's people uh, of the soon coming of a resurrected Christ. Why not let us ask God to help us to be that witness wherever we go? Why not let's pray? Father in heaven, we just pray and ask you to allow us to be your witness in everywhere we go. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.